Welcome to Tick Tech No, Technology Integration Coach Tech Tips to Know. Alright, so this week we're going to be looking at um, one of the many things we have going on up here in my tabs is Edge Elastic. Edge Elastic is a tool that my district is using this year to kind of help our teachers and students get ready for the new tech enhanced questions. Uh, today I want to take a look at how to make your very own uh, quick exam or quick quiz or quick assignment, whatever you want to call it, that allows you to kind of get our your students uh, used to taking these uh, kind of tech enhanced questions where instead of just doing a simple multiple choice color in the circle, you have other styles of questions where you reorder things before you turn them in, where you have multiple parts uh, to a question, where you have um, things you have to drag and drop onto a, uh, a number line or to some other device or some other way other than simply just um, going and, and using your standard multiple choice questions because that's not what they're going to see. There will be some of those but there will be many more types of new questions in the tech enhanced questions in the new TN ready or TIN ready, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I have a couple ways I can do this. I can go up here and create a new assignment click create and right away I am thrown into this group of things I can uh, search for let's go with third grade level things that are public and I want to look for the standards that I know this fits under which I know the telling time happens to be in the measurement and data domain and I have a couple of options. I can blanketly select everything that's here which I don't want to do because I'm just making a short quiz. Uh, I can auto select I, mean, I can auto select which automatically selects a, a group of things for me. Uh, I can select which means I get to look through preview and, and choose other people's questions or I can create one of my own. Let's go with the easiest one to do which is to select other people's questions because then we can change them if we like them uh, notice over here does show that I have that one's been used 72 times. Let's see what this one says. Uh, she gets up in the morning, shows the time, spends 20 minutes eating, 35 minutes getting dressed. Well, that's great for the elapsed time part of this. I just want a one that just goes on telling time because I'm getting I'm just I'm making a quick quiz on do they know what they're supposed to have learned back in second grade. That is how to tell time on a clock. What time is shown in the clock face? That looks like one I can use. I'm going to keep that. That's elapsed time. <clears throat> Alright, so I pause you for just for a second so you wouldn't have to watch me go through and click uh, and search through different questions. I've got uh, eight selected currently, so let's go take a look and see what they look like. Uh, again, when I'm going through here, some of these, you can see pictures, you can see extra bits. Uh, the ones that are green check mark are the ones that I've chosen. This one doesn't look like much, but we can always preview the question before we select it by clicking on the little arrow to the right and looking to see is this what we need it to look like. This is one of those that has answer choices over here that we're going to have to drag and drop into uh, the correct boxes to match up with the times that are listed or shown by the clocks on the left. And that is something I want my kids to be able to do both a test type question I want them to be experienced with and a skill I need to know that they can do. Uh, let's take a second and look at all of those. So once I've selected the ones I want, I really only need about five or six, so if I can find five or six that line up exactly the way I want it to be, perfect. Because again, I'm just making a quick quiz to throw in at the end of a lesson to find out if they knew what they're supposed to. Alright, let's check mark this for view that's at the top of the selected questions and it's going to group just those selected ones together and I can even view it, ooh better, I can view it as a student forgot I did that alright so this is what your kids are going to see when they log on uh, notice they have all eight questions spanning across here and you, the one they're currently on has a blue ring, ones they haven't got to are gray if they've skipped one it turns it to a black ring 
and there's a timer going to show how long they were taking the time, taking on the quiz. Uh, what time is shown in the clock? Okay, I'm going to get that one right on purpose, so I'm going to say 10.37. Click. Again, pretty standard, basic, what they're used to, multiple choice, nothing special there. Uh, look at this one. Okay, this is one where they have to drag and drop. Look at the clocks, match the time. So click here. Uh, that's 11.20. I don't see 11.20. I don't see 11.20. So I do see 20 past 11. So if this is not really a skill that I'm wanting to get to, if I want to just read the clock, then this particular kind of question may not be what I need it to be because it has this different verb or a different way of saying uh, that time in text instead of giving me the number. Let me go ahead and skip over here to this one. Uh, what time does the clock show? Again, this one I can type the answer in. It's giving me a, a thing saying I need to put in the colon. Again, there's that where I turned it black because I didn't put an answer in. Haley's doctor appointment is scheduled for 15 minutes before 3. What time is Haley's doctor's appointment? This one has a drop down has a drop down menu. Her appointment is at three fifteen p.m. They do have the ability to include scratch pads, so it gives you a, a chance to draw out using these tools here. Let's go to this one. Arrive at the clock. I don't arrive at work and check the clock on the wall. This is one of those that has a multiple select, so select the time to show the clock the clock shows. Uh, this one is 8.36. It is also known as 26 minutes before 9. What time does the clock show? Here's the clock. I only have one this time. Drag and drop the value. So where the other one that had a drag and drop, even though it had multiple, and I like the multiple in one question, uh, it did not match with what I'm during, doing right now where I'm just focusing on just the numbers. So uh, let's see, drag and drop values, that one is 3 o'clock, so I'm going to drag and drop that there. Number 7, match the following clocks, again another drag and drop one, maybe I could use this one instead of the one that had the words, this one has multiple, and uh, as long as it has the right numbers on there, because I want to make sure uh, that is one thing that, that they haven't done is that there are some times you're going to find questions with incorrect answers. And I'll show you what to do with that if you do have some that have incorrect answers. Uh, let's see, 535, yep, that one's there. 3 o'clock, that one's there. 420, that one's there. What's nice is you also can add in additional answer choices that are distractors that don't fit any of them, but are ones that might be easily confused with it. Or you can make it so that you use the same one multiple times and, and it doesn't remove it from here. It leaves it over there so you can use it again on this kind of drag and drop style of question. Uh, click the check boxes in the table for the times 36 minutes before 6. Again, it's a little bit different style of, ans of answering the question. 24 minutes before 6. 30 minutes before 6. Hit submit. You have a chance to review them. It warns me that I have one unanswered question. I'm going to submit it as a kid. And as a kid, I get to have immediate feedback or what I got right, what I got wrong, when they're partially answered, when they aren't that were skipped, when they're incorrect. So I get this. What's also nice as a teacher, you get this as well. And it gives me 5.5 .5 out of 8. There's a dashboard view that your all your class can be on there. You can immediately see how they're doing. It really is fantastic as a tool to get immediate feedback, not only for them, but also for us. All right, so I like those, except for I did say I wanted to get rid of, which one was it? Yep, it was this one. I get rid of this one, so I'm going to deselect that one. Deselect, now it goes away. I'm down to seven questions. And I think... Get rid of maybe one more. Let's go with getting rid of that one also. All right. 
I am going to leave that one that had the double select because I want to know do they know the difference between what I'm doing before and after the hour. So I do want to find out about that. So I'm going to leave that one, only one in there that has the multiple select where it had a, so many minutes before because I want to see that as an option. Let's see how they do on that one. All right, so I've got this, I've got this selected. Notice I have these little bars, which means I can reorder them. I'm not going to right now. I think I'm okay with the way it's ordered. I'm going to click next and assessment. I can give it a little more description. Short quiz on telling time to the minute. Tag is going to help me find it later. And I'm going to choose right now to save assessment for later, but if I choose to right now, right now I can assign it directly to any of the classes I have listed here. So when they log in, it's already lit waiting for them to do and pick my due date and due time right now at the end of making it. But I'm going to I'm going to set this one so I can do it later and I'm going to make this one publicly shareable cuz you know I didn't really make the questions, but I did check them over and they're okay. So I don't mind sharing it cuz I mean I didn't make any of my own stuff. Not that I have a problem with making my stuff and sharing it, but... Okay, so I can copy this URL. This allows me to get a copy of this one. I can also mail it to uh, my co-teachers. And it pulls up my email along with a link that goes to that. They just have to log into their Edulastic account. Uh, and then I can, again, uh, come back in here later. In here, I'm going to go into my library, my assessment library, choose the correct grade level, and let's see. Sorry, that's not my library, that's the assessment library. I need my assessment library. My assessment library for third grade, and there it is. I can simply click it and choose assign and assign it to my kids. Notice it also has drafts, so if I have one I'm working on, I can always come back and finish later on if I did choose to save it as a draft. All right, so that is creating a Edulastic assessment from the pre-made questions, and uh, the only other thing to do is really you can try making your own from questions that you create completely on your own to, make a, to choose the types you like. Uh, there are how-to videos on each one of those questions. So if you're looking at making a multiple select or a multi-part question, you can click on that solid question where you get the template to use and then there's a little video tutorial video specifically from Edulastic on that one style of question, how to use it, how to, how to make the most out of it. Uh, really, really helpful and really informative. All right, so this has been how to make your own question, your own quiz or uh, assessment in Edulastic.